Oh, and on top of everything else, guys, guess what? Not only are the stockers overwhelmed with trying to stock the shelves, we're down to only one or two cashiers. So imagine that. We got all the food we want, everything we went for. Hallelujah. We got everything we went for. And now you have to bag it yourself. So it was really chaotic today. Hope it's not like that the next time. <laughs> well, this is the first for me. I'm going to Walmart right now. I don't normally go to no, no any stores in the afternoon to shop, especially for the produce that I like to get. You need to go early in the day. If you don't go early, you're gonna get the leftovers. Let's see what happens. Yep, produce is looking pretty good. And this is three o'clock. Oops. It's just the cucumbers that are looking a little empty. Okay, the salads that I normally get are not here. There's a lot of blank spots here. But then again, I say, this is three o'clock in the afternoon, guys. If you really want to go shopping and get what you want and what you need, and what you desire you need to come out early in the morning that's when they first stock everything if you wait too long it gets nothing this is the cereal aisle walmart cereal aisle so the favorites are you and in between huh guys if you're a favorite, if one of your favorites is checks, this is not the store for you. If Rice Krispies is one of your choices, this is not the store for you. Just a few of everything spread out. That's what's here now. I'm telling you, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon at Walmart. The really giant bags of cereal that usually are really stocked, those are the ones that are really empty. This is the aisle for bakers. Look at the seasonings. Missing. All of the necessities to bake with are running low. Come on, y'all. Cooking oil. Shells are getting smaller and smaller packed. Vinegar. That's an easy staple to keep, but we don't see too many we don't see too many bottles or jars or containers of vinegar. Olive oil. Olive oil is very, very good to cook with, but unless you're going to go for the high price ones, I don't know what to tell you guys. Now, look at the prices on these Progresso soups. $1.58. There's only a few of them, so you better come on and get it if you like Progresso, because at Publix, it costs $2.99. I just came from Walmart. I'm telling you what. Hey, this is getting funnier and funnier, you guys. Not only are the prices... Look at me, I look like... a crazy woman not only are the prices increasing rapidly but the shelf pricing is not changing and the cashier told me today they do not have enough stockers to stock and change the prices the prices are changing too rapidly for them to be too involved with changing the prices on the shelf so if you bring it to the attention of the cashier they'll excuse one price Let's say if you buy two or three items 
at a certain price that you thought it was, you're only going to be allowed that one time price for one item. All the other items are going to be higher in price. And I have things on this. I have things on this receipt this time that are just over the top. I got strawberries and they were two forty eight on the price. And on the receipt, it says six dollars and sixty cents you know i'm about to go back around there and get my money right they can have the strawberries i'll take my difference and we'll go from there i'll keep you posted